Hi there. I think uh, you know this uh, this gold uh, bank run. Uh, I think will catch up uh, speed uh, pretty uh, pretty soon. Uh, it, it it's been rising uh, quite uh, considerably in the last uh, week basically. Uh, I I bought some for a friend, and uh, and her the value of her uh, asset has risen by uh, 60 euros in the last week, which is not uh, bad. Uh, and uh, there's news on Zero Hedge that Canadian uh, uh, that the JP Morgan basically sold uh, fraudulent uh, uh, gold certificates and even charged uh, money for for storage of the gold, while they basically didn't have it, simply, it's just not there. And I think don't think the Comex gold is there. I don't think the bullion, uh, the London bullion market gold is there. We know that it's not there. It's, uh, it's only one percent of it. And uh, and that means that the foreigners will keep up their attack, and whatever gold bullion you can get your hands on, you should try to get your hands on because it's going to be the sky is going to be the limit. I've been thinking about this whole mortgage uh, thing because we have the same thing in Holland, and nobody in the political uh, arena uh, has any understanding of of, uh, of economics at all. They all talk within the banking system solutions with that are. Uh, Provided within the banking system, while you should get rid of the banking system, and uh, and have your currency issue it yourself, and not have a government debt. Uh, but that's not the way people think about it. It's all it's always about money. Uh, there's a very telling. Uh, I was listening to radio uh, because I was driving uh, to and from my little boat. This one today because I was working on it, and. Um, you know, it's 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 telling because the, the governments need money. Uh, California is actually running out of money. Uh, I can see that the the fifth of May or the fifteenth of May or so they they run out of money, and that means that you have to increase fines. So now they want to uh, make fines adapted to the income of the person. So if you make more, then your fine is higher for your traffic or your. But whenever you start, or whenever a person on the radio show started about talking about. Uh, Yes, but maybe if you were a speeder, or you're a repetitive uh, traffic, uh, uh, you know, uh, violator, you might uh, take in the dri driving license or, or put a lock on the car. Oh no, that's not discussable. No, it has to be a fine, you know, because that's money, and we need money. Everybody thinks they need money. Well, that's not the case at all. I don't think it is because money is nothing. It's only, you know, it's only monopoly money. It only has the value that that, that people are. If everybody suddenly says, "Okay, we're only going to work for twice as much money, and otherwise we do nothing," then that would be it. And you know that has happened because uh, the the I have to look it up. But that's what happened to the to the Bal Baltic Dry Index, which is a shipping uh, uh, cost uh, index. It means that you uh, how much do you pay for transportation of your boat of, of your of your goods, and that had a shock. I think somewhere in 2006 or 2005 when it suddenly dropped or it suddenly <laughs> it just moved because everybody at the same time said okay you know we want to have more money well then the index goes up nobody has a choice but it doesn't mean that the, I don't know just it's so arbitrary that it's really uh, quite uh, quite embarrassing basically that people are so anxious about it and you should get rid of it as soon as possible but I have an idea about dealing with the mortgage problems that people have. And simply said, you should okay. There's two steps. Once you you make a law that says that that has certain requirements for mortgages, and a very important one is that your mortgage pays off your house. Now in Holland, we have the trend of people advising uh, people that are in trouble with their mortgage to go for a mortgage that doesn't pay off the house. In the end, so you have a uh, you buy a house for three hundred thousand uh, dollars, then you get a mortgage, and after thirty years you still have a debt of three hundred thousand dollars, but you have lived in the house, so basically it has been rented, and it's owned by the bank from the start. And so that that's what they advise you to do now. Well, of course, that's the ultimate. That's the, let's say the ultimate uh, uh, trade that they did. They they did, you know. You thought you got a more valuable house, but what you actually did was you gave the house to the bank. That's why it was incentivized. You know, the bank owns your house. 
<laughs> and after 30 years of paying interest rate, the bank still owns your house. You know, you're never gonna get it. Uh, but you were thinking that you were doing well and better. Well, the solution to the whole thing is to take the principal, or not the principal, but to, to, to make your mortgage payment fixed and then rearrange the whole thing so it makes sense uh, once again. So it's really a payment of debt, uh, so you don't no longer own the debt after, you know, it's no longer there after the, the period. That's one. So you say, okay, uh, so and that works like this. I pay, let's say, 800 euros per month for my mortgage at a 2% interest. Well, first you change the interest rate to, uh, to a sensible number, which is about 8%, I think. A little bit future-proof. But you can basically make a law that says it can float in the next two years. So you can adjust your whole monetary system. The interest floats, your payment stays the same, but the principal on the books of the banks, that is what changes. <coughs> banks go like, heart attack! What what do we do with our balance sheet? Well, it's all fraudulent anyway, so fuck them. This is not really important. What's important is that citizens don't get anxious about losing the value of their home, because you make it a law that it happens with every mortgage and with every home, and that you cannot get a new mortgage that does, doesn't have that arrangement. That means that that you it's basically what you do is uh, the same as a country who does like Italy or has done many times when. When it says uh, 3 million lira, they uh, they cross out uh, three zeros and it was uh, 3,000 lira. They used to do that. You know, you used to have to, you know, they do, they used to not use uh, small change but uh, give candy in return when you buy something in, in Venice when I was there a long time ago. Because inflation was <laughs> rampant and it, it maybe it will be again when the euro uh, uh, fails for Italy. I don't know if it will happen but it depends on how, how hard we go against uh, Washington and Wall Street and Goldman Sachs it doesn't appear we are doing that but uh, it basically what what I'm talking about with the mortgages you basically cut the value in, ha in half but you doesn't you don't make it a lower value in the market because all the prices will be cut in half and you can do that only for houses and only for mortgages that's the nice thing about it you can do it let, let's say surgically you can pick this bubble so you have to increase the rate, uh, uh, increase, uh, 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 make sure that it pays off the whole loan, uh, and maybe do some other things that you want to do, but you don't change uh, the loan payment. Now, if after that whole process you find out that the loan, the the the, the, the monthly payment is still unbearable for people, you could, of course, uh, 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 you know, decrease that payment actually of the people. But that should be the last thing you do. First you adjust uh, you adjust the system so that it's no longer abusive, exploitative and it reduces ownership. You want to if you want to change the system, you have to increase ownership of everybody. That's what the whole commodity boom is about. It's about ownership. And that's what all these fraudulent cases are about. It's about uh, not having ownership and how 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 fraudulent and how how criminal it is to pretend that you give somebody ownership of something while you don't that's robbery anyway i hope you found this video interesting uh, and uh, and thanks for listening and i hope you subscribe bye bye